How's it going everybody? This is Frank Pinelli. Welcome to my garage. This is my 1980 Z28 Camaro. I've been working on this car for the last couple of months, uh, getting the body ready for paint. I built the motor this summer on it, and now today what we're going to be doing is repairing some cracks on the urethane bumper. Now for anyone who's familiar with these cars, you know that on these second gen Camaros, these urethane front bumpers over time got hit, dinged around, and they wind up cracking somewhere, somehow. So right here we've got our biggest crack, which uh, will be the most challenging to fix, but at least it'll be somewhat hidden. We've got number two right here, and then there's a little one right here, and actually there's a fourth crack right there. So what we're going to be doing is going from the back side, cleaning it up, I'll uh, use some carb cleaner and uh, some, you know, wipe it down. Then I'm going to be using this patch kit from 3M that I got. It's just a flexible patch that'll go from the back side to give us some support. And then there's this fusion uh, fuser thing made by Lord. It's pretty good. I use it on my other Camaro. Uh, it's basically like a flexible bondo. It'll go on here and fill this in. You'll be able to sand it, prime and paint it, and you won't ever know what happened. Just getting our hand back in there and just going to try and get all that dust out of the way first off. See all that crap that came off there. That would definitely prevent the uh, pad from sticking. Now I've got 220 grit sandpaper, something light, but get it nicely scuffed up just to try and get us a little bit of adhesion. I'm gonna spray a little bit of carb cleaner now to try and get it even more clean. Just make sure you're not beneath it so it's not landing on you. Now I've got it to the point that when I wipe my uh, towel back there along the repair, I'm not getting any um, crap on it anymore really. So you know it's pretty clean and now I can stick this patch pad on there. Now I'm going to come here from the front side, match this up to the size I want to cut it to and then we'll go in from the back side and we'll install this uh, patch panel pad thing so it'll help add some support keep this from cracking again hope you can see now here on the front side it's staying all together I think now just come in here and I'll sand into these cracks to kind of build a nice crevice for the uh, for that liquid urethane filler to go in and it should be looking pretty good so this is the material that I use this Lord fuser stuff for the urethane repair it's a two-part system, so make sure you squeeze out even amounts of both parts. All right, now from here, we're just gonna knead the two parts together. You wanna get them uh, to be an even color. You don't want streaks of white, streaks of red, just one even color. And it's kinda hard to do with one hand, because I got the tripod over there, but I'm just gonna get it all mixed in there, nice together. The reason why it's dark now is because I had filmed this earlier, but somehow I deleted the file, so still got a spot I left, have left to do, so we'll go through and fix that right now. All right, that's pretty good. All right, now we got this low spot here, so I'm just gonna lay it on top. Like so, and come underneath as well. Just kind of reinforce that spot where it had originally cracked. All right, we're gonna sand down the uh, repair section and see what it looks like. So you can see it came out really nice and smooth. I gotta just go over with a finer grit now. I'd use 120 there and just get it to blend nicely. But uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Just go over the rest of it, sand them down and make it look good. And here we have the finished job. Everything's nice and smoothed out and even. Looks good. I'm happy with it.